woke up to go get me a cold pop. And then I thought somebody was barbecuing. I said, oh, Lord Jesus, it's a fire. Then I ran out. I didn't grab no shoes or nothing, Jesus. I ran for my life. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my gorgeous gastronomes and vampires. Welcome to T-Rex Steel City Mukbang. Where will this food journey take you today? Pull up a seat. Let's eat. What's up, guys? Good morning. Happy Thursday to you. I'm telling you, this being off from work all this time, it has me so mixed up on the days of the week. Sometimes I have to look at my phone to figure out what day I'm on. Work kind of just keeps you in line you know you remember what bills you have to pay and you remember what day of the week it is based on your job <laughs> but being out of work uh, it can get pretty boring after a while and expensive <laughs> when you don't have the cash but anyway guys I want to thank you my subscribers and all of you who have not subscribed what are you waiting for? I love you guys too. Become part of this family. Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. All right, guys. I told you I'm still doing the light meal versions for Lent. And today I have grits, eggs, and bacon. If you notice, I have one slice of bacon today and not two. Underneath all these grits is uh, one egg somewhere under there, one scrambled egg. And I also have a half a portion of grits. I usually do like a double, <laughs> maybe even a triple sometimes. But yeah, I have a, a single portion of grits and it's just a very small, light breakfast. And, you know, I told you many times before, I love bread and jelly with my grits, bacon and eggs. This is a uh, bread thin. I almost said bagel thin. This is a bread thin. See how thin that is? It's a whole grain. There. And I usually eat the whole bread thin. You know, like both halves of it. So this is just half. And that's all I'm having. And let's talk. <laughs> what can we talk about? I know. Let me tell you. Um, some of you follow me on Facebook. Yes, I'm on Facebook. So those of you who are not following me on there, hit me up. Hit me up under Steel City Mukbang. And then you can follow my Steel City Mukbang page to my personal page and follow me there. But those of you who follow me on Facebook probably noticed the other night I had to go to the emergency room because my back is it's starting to feel so much better on my right side. But I was still having this really terrible, sharp pain coming from my back on my left side. And it was so bad. I mean, it, it is so bad, I should say, because it's still there. But it was so bad that it was going, like, all the way through. I felt like the pain was radiating from my back to my front, to my stomach. So I got scared. I'm not thinking, like, what? Could there be something wrong with my stomach? You know, so I went to the emergency room. They did a bunch of tests. Found nothing wrong with my internal organs. Praise God for that. They told me to follow up with my surgeon. Because I actually did have an appointment with him already set for yesterday. So I went to him yesterday. He checked out the 
uh, CT scans from the night before. He gave me another x-ray. Told me my, my surgery looked great. All my screws were in place. Nothing out of line. And the surgery all in all went very, very well. And I told him, because he's a great doctor, and I told him that. Dr. William Donaldson, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Just in case you need any type of spinal orthopedic surgery done. All right, that's my plug for him. But I told him how great my legs feel now because that was my main issue with my back. It, I really didn't have back pain. I had leg pain so bad that I could barely walk. So I told him that felt excellent, but I didn't know what the knife in my back was about. <laughs> like I'm feeling this knife, sharp knife stabbing feeling in my back, even when I take a deep breath. So since he couldn't find anything else, he told me he truly believes that because they had to move so many nerves out of the way, and messing around with the nerves and putting cement or not cement but cementing my bone into my spinal column for stability the nerves get very aggravated they get inflamed they swell and he said that I was probably just experiencing residual effects from the nerves being moved. So I'm good with that. He gave me some more pain meds and sent me on my way. And um, I'm just going to continue relaxing. You know, still not allowed to drive. Um, yeah, I'm still just uh, convalescing here. Just trying to recuperate. And that's what happened to me over the past couple days. Um, I really wanted to get you guys a video yesterday, but I was tied up at the doctor literally half of the day. So here I am today. And guess what, guys? I'm going to make it up to you. I'm actually going to do this video you're watching right now, and I'm going to do another video for you later. I'm going to make it up to you. Try not to leave you guys hanging, because I definitely appreciate you all. So be on the lookout for later on. I'm not going to tell you what it is. Just make sure you hit that notification bell so you can tune back in. I think we talked about this before, too. When I had oatmeal the other day, I asked everybody what their favorite was, oatmeal or grits. A lot of, you know, there was a mixed, mixed bag. Because I love both, obviously. And, um, all you grits people... Now I have a question for you. For you grits people. All right, here's your question. I love my grits with salt and pepper and butter. That is all. How many of you out there are sugar and milk? grits people hit me up and let me know
I just love this mixed together like this. I could eat this every day. But yeah, guys, I noticed so far, and this is nothing big to brag about. But I actually lost three pounds. <laughs> Woo! -hoo! It's a start, you know. I'm, I'm excited because for a while, I couldn't get the scales to go in reverse. You know, I just couldn't. They just kept going up and up and up. Not acceptable. <laughs> Not. So, yeah. I got weighed at the doctor yesterday. And, um... Even with all my clothes on, I had lost, you know, three pounds, so I was happy about that. I know I'm going in reverse. Hmm. I only ate one meal yesterday. The whole day, one meal. And I didn't actually get that until after I was done with the doctor. late in the afternoon so I must say I am starving right now <laughs> or I was starving so guys I'm going to finish this up mm. get back with you all later mm. this was so good Peace out, my gastronomes and vampires. I will see you soon. Literally. <laughs>